Hey, how's everyone doing? So this is Sean, and uh, now this is a huge Mandela effect for me. Um, if this is anything like the Great Pyramids, and I'm not talking about the Great Pyramids uh, um, size um, or um, positioning amongst one another. I'm talking about how the actual pyramids look and where they are. Like the Great Pyramid, the pyramids of Giza have changed for me dramatically. And this was months and months before I ever heard about Merenstein Bears changing. Uh, I just knew that I was having some serious reality shifts going on before I even, even heard of the term Mando effect. Anyway, a lot of people, uh, the, the Great Pyramid changes I saw, only oh, a small amount of people that I've connected with had, had seen something similar or the same. The Nazca lines feel like this, a similar thing, that it's a lot of people, either they're not familiar enough with it to be able to tell, or it didn't change for them. The freaking Nazca lines changed for me so freaking much. Damn, this is something I studied in depth many, many times. I've been fascinated by ancient cultures, uh, prehistory, before we had good written records of what the heck was going on, especially before the flood and ancient knowledge. There's so much, I've so much energy and time spent looking into this stuff. I have studied the Nazca lines many, many times. Unlike when, uh, now with Google Earth came around, um, um, then I started to like see other things and check things out closer, Panama Canal, for example. But the Nazca lines, before the internet, I was still looking uh, closely at the pictures and diagrams and the books and encyclopedias and the Nazca lines have changed for me a lot, okay? But the thing that really gets me is the new ones. All right, let me let me go over it a little bit here. Uh, I do remember the monkey. Um, it seems uh, it seems different to me. Um, it's just, and I'm not going to get into the exact details in this video, but the monkey, I definitely remember the monkey, but he seems different. Um, the way his hands are just, yeah, the tail looks, looks good. The hands look off. Um, the positioning of the hands. Um, that one, uh, that looks normal to me. I definitely remember it. This one looks normal to me, the spider. I definitely remember it. Uh, this one looks uh, 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 looks normal. Well, it looks it looks a little off. I remember this, but I don't remember it looking so crisp, so clean and defined. It's just it's it pops, you know. You know, like people like uh, talking about like makeup and clothing and fashion, and it makes your eyes pop. Well, anyway, it looks like it's popping a little too much, but other than that, it looks pretty normal for me. This dude. Uh, I remember something, I remember seeing something like this guy, but not this guy holding this thing here. Uh-uh, this is a new picture for me. I've looked at the Nazca lines literally hundreds of times growing up, and I don't remember seeing this. I'm someone that when I was like learning things in school, I would remember what I was learning and then I would get a good grade on the tests. Um, I usually, I don't, you know, I try not to like sound like I'm bragging and stuff, but I need to put it in context. I freaking don't remember that image. I do remember a picture similar, but definitely not this dude holding this thing. Uh-uh. No. I do remember this. Yes. The space, the like astronaut, like waving type of thing carved into the rock. I, I do remember that. And that, that looks very much, it looks actually a little more worn. Down. I, remember, I don't remember being quite as worn down, but very similar to what I remember, or the same, because human memory is not perfect, and we all know this. Uh, I also remember Nazca lines that were less common. See, like, because they were they were like smaller, like they were more like corroded. There's a road, like roads going through it or something. So this whale right here, even though I don't remember the whale, I didn't study in depth. The like the the like little ones that were like kind of chopped up and messed up looking. I I I mean I, I went through them, but I really focused on the the the, the standalone uh, uh, images that were not like compromised. So anyway, so there is like partial ones and stuff that you know. I, I, so that 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 to me like fits and it's okay. However, this is this what I'm about to show you is. The reason I'm making this video and the reason that made me realize, holy crap, what's going on? What the hell is that? 
Uh, Sean, it's a chicken, I think. Kind of looks like a chicken to me. <laughs> this, what the hell is that? That, I saw, I was, I just, I was looking at, looking at the Nazca lines. Uh, just doing some research uh, about a month ago. And I see this image. Now, I could say it blew my mind, but my mind already got blown years prior uh, experiencing reality shifts. So instead, I was like, boom, that is definitely a change for me. There's no freaking way in God's good earth I, I would have freaking missed this weird bird thing with the big feet. No way. No way. Five uh, 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 phalanges on one appendage, four phalanges on the other appendage. Phalange, fingers and toes. I don't know what the hell those things are, so they're phalanges. But anyway, yes, look at that. Has anyone seen this before? Uh, uh, let me repeat. Has anyone seen this before? Because I sure as hell haven't. That, my friends, is a huge reality shift for me because I was a Nazca Lions guy, and I've never seen that before, and I would definitely have seen that before. You look and you look up Nazca lines. This is one of the more common ones you're going to bump into. What the hell is that? Um, and I don't remember this, but this is in that category of like the smaller, less known ones. This uh, dinosaur here. But this chicken right here, holy crap! So that's my Nazca lines Vandal effect. The, this this is definitely not the same <laughs> physical reality that I experienced growing up. I hope you guys are doing well. Be nice to one another, and I love you.